Ready? Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, kitchen at Blue Ocean Market here in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Chef Anthony here getting ready to prepare a stuffed vermilion snapper, a locally caught fish here. Uh, this one actually came off of the Jack Attack, one of the boats that works with us here. I've gotten taken the liberty to go ahead and scale it already. We've taken the gills out and we've got a nice cavity in here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the stuffing. Then we're gonna wrap it in the style of umpapi oat, which is generally in paper, but we're gonna use tin foil as a substitute, something that most people have lying around the house and get you guys on your way to a beautifully finished vermilion snapper. All right, so I've taken the liberty of scaling the fish already, but I wanted to save a few things to show you what you could ask the guys in the back to do when you pick up your snapper, okay? I like to take the wings off the side, and this is something that we can do right here for you. It doesn't take that long. Take this wing off right here. We gotta take the petrol fins off, and just go ahead and take this off. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So again with the petrol fins. And then right down here, the same thing, just kind of coming in behind it. And again, this is something that we can do at the shop for you. No worries, you're good to go, okay? So now you've got basically a dressed fish, all right? Our cavity's right here. We got, everything else is clean. So now we're gonna get it ready for cooking. We need to score the fish so that the fish cooks evenly. And I like to double score the fish. So we're gonna come back again, like this, and right here. One little guy right up there. Turn the fish over, same thing. About an inch and a half apart on your scoring is about where you wanna go. And then again, ready to get stuffed. All right, so what I've got here is I've got some pre-cut veggies. I kind of took the, the, again, the liberty of going ahead and getting some stuff pre-cut for us so you didn't have the awesome experience of watching me cut vegetables all afternoon. But we've got some heirloom tomatoes, some red pepper, some organic squash, some lemon, some parsley, some thyme, sea salt and pepper, and then a little bit of the ends of the scallions, the part that really no one really uses, they kind of throw them away. So let's go ahead and get the veggies cut real quick. And again, this is just kind of like how, however you'd like to do it. We're gonna chunk it up. It's gonna have a really dramatic presentation when we're done. So some nice squash. So we got our squash cutter ready. Now we're gonna turn our focus to the zucchini. Again, kind of keeping it all about the same size. We don't wanna to go too crazy. Everything needs to cook kind of evenly inside this. We're gonna take the, the benefits of the wine, butter, oil to go ahead and steam the fish inside there. All right, so now what we've got is our foil, which is kind of acting like our, as our umpapi oat. What we wanna do is we wanna take some of our veggies. I've got a little knob of butter down here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil because I've roasted the garlic in the oil today and that's gonna give us a really nice flavor. So we have this wonderfully roasted garlic right there. We're gonna add some of our veggies on the bottom, just like this, nothing too crazy. We're gonna add some of our scallions. We're gonna add some of our red pepper. We're trying to keep it in kind of the shape of the fish. Some of the tomatoes right there. We're gonna come back and now actually get some of the garlic out. And the garlic gets really sweet when you roast it. Then we're gonna grab our fish, all right? And we're literally, we're gonna season the veggies and then we're gonna season all of the fish right there like that, okay? Just get in there inside the cavity. And then we're gonna take our aromatics we're gonna put them right inside here, like so. We're gonna add some of our parsley in here. We're gonna take a couple of lemons right in there. And we're gonna put a few more veggies in here. Kind of want everything to work together, okay? Some of those tomatoes, kind of push them down like that. And then we'll put our fish right on top. Kind of making sure that belly's kind of full, got some stuff going on. All right, 
looks pretty good. And then what we're gonna add is some zest of some lemon. You just kind of shake that on top. We're gonna take the lemon, juice, right there. Little lemon juice right there. Then we're gonna take our knob of butter that we cut. We just kind of want to press that into the skin, right into those slits we did. That's gonna be delicious. Little more salt and pepper, little more parsley, few more lemons right there across the top, like so. Last of the zest. And now it's time to fold it up. Literally gonna take it, make a tent. And again, the principle is the fact that we're capturing all of the steam in here. Make those crimps as tight as you can. And then onto a cookie sheet. Put it into a 400 degree oven for about 35 minutes and that will be our first time to check. All right guys, uh, if you were with us just a little while ago, you remember us putting this uh, beautiful vermilion snapper into the oven. Here comes the moment of, uh, well, surprise, and hopefully we've got this right. Uh, lost track of time there for a sec, so just please hang in there, bear in there. Here we go. This is our vermilion snapper with all of our lovely veggies, and voila. She is perfect. Look at that. Just going to transfer it to our little uh, platter here. This is where you can just kind of tear the foil off and away. And then literally to finish guys, lemon juice, a little bit of parsley, I'm gonna use a little bit of this oil right here just to go right over the top. So this is something you guys can do in the oven if you feel comfortable. If you prefer to be outside, mother nature, around the grill, then you could grill this very easily, uh, especially in the foil. You could do it over charcoal, you could do it over uh, gas range if you like. I just suggest indirect heat, somewhere around that 350 ballpark this was 350, right out around uh, 44 minutes uh, today. Um, also depends on what you stuff it with. If you prefer more hearty vegetables, rutabagas and carrots, which you can do um, a little longer, or maybe cook the rutabagas and the carrots maybe before you stuff it, um, kind of par cook them. But just a beautiful selection right here of fish and vegetables. This right here is a one and a half pound vermilion snapper. If you were to pair this with rice, you could easily feed three people with this. Very economical dish. And as you can see, she is just perfectly done. Right onto our platter.